What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of High School Game Day. Today's episode is sponsored by J. Monty's Bakery, home of the Gifted Hands. If you are looking for a cake, cupcake, any special treat that you need, call us today and we'll bake it up for you. Call us at 1-757-710-8837. Again, the number is 757-710-8837. Let's get right into this episode. This episode all teams on the Eastern Shore will be playing this today. Our first game we're going to start talking about is between the number one Warriors coming in at 3-2 and two versus Cambridge South Dorchester coming in at 3-1. and one. Now, the Warriors will be traveling to Cambridge today to play this game at about 6.30 p.m. So if you'd like to go out there to Cambridge, Maryland to watch the Warriors compete, you can go on out there. I'm hoping for a very big win for the Warriors to come out of there with the W over Cambridge. It should be a good old, good game out there in Cambridge. Um, again, the game starts at 6.30. So if you'd like to go out there and watch it, head on over to Cambridge South Dorchester. It's not Cambridge North Dorchester. It's Cambridge South Dorchester High School. Our next game we're talking about is between the number four Yellow Jackets coming in at 0-5 versus middle, the Middlesex Chargers. Now, this game, I'm hoping that North Hampton will be able to win their first game of the year as they'll be hitting on the road to Middlesex High School. And this should be a good game. I'm hoping for a good game. So, if you like to go out there and cheer on your Yellow Jackets going out there to Middlesex High School, the game, I believe, starts at 7 p.m. If I am wrong, please let me know, and we'll get that fixed. Yeah, but this should be a good game. Hoping for the Yellow Jackets to turn their season around before season comes to an end. Our next game is between the number two Vikings coming in at three and two versus the Isles of White Chargers. Now this should be another good game before the Vikings as they'll be hitting on the road to Isles of White Academy. Now if you like to go on out there and watch it, watch your Vikings compete for their fourth straight win of the year. Go on out there to Isles of White Academy. They'll be playing the Chargers. I believe this game starts at 7 p.m. If I am wrong again, please let me know and I also will fix that. Our next game that we have going on is between number five, Shingatig Ponies, coming in at 0-5 versus the Portsmouth Christian, the Portsmouth Christian Patriots. Yes, the opponent team in the Patriots. Um, yes, the Ponies are looking for their first one of the season like Northampton is, but one of them is going to end up winning sooner or later. So keep your eyes out. There might be a win this week for both of those teams. We're hoping for a very tremendous outcome from either one of these games. Now, let's get into our main game, the game of the week, and our featured game between the Colonel Richardson Colonels and the number three Firebirds. Now, this should be a great game here today. This game will be starting at 6.30 p.m. on the Eastern Shore of Virginia at Arcadia High School at Firebirds Field. So, go on out there and enjoy yourself. $5 to get into the game to watch your Firebirds compete against the Colonel Richardson Colonels. Should be a great game. Both teams are pretty good. So it should be a pretty good game. Um, Maybe high scoring, so go on out there and enjoy yourself. Now, I am going to say this. Please, please, please stop fighting at all of these football games because if we do, if y'all do not, the football program will be gone. They are talking about removing the football program because of all the fights that are happening. It's already bad now. They already voted for games to be on Saturdays when people have things to do on Saturdays. And from what I've been told, when Nando and Arcadia play, the game will be at 4 o'clock. Not some people will be able to come to that game. And it's senior night at that. So please, please, please stop fighting at these football games. Thank you. Now let's jump right into some college football. Now we have some great games going on this afternoon. One starts at 8 o'clock. And that is between the number 18 ranked UCF Knights coming in with a record of 4 and 1 versus the Cincinnati Bearcats coming in with a record of 3 and 1. Now, this should be a good game like in past years. It has been a great game between both of these teams. Very high scoring and competitive. So, tonight, while you're sitting back doing nothing, turn your channels and watch the number 18 UCF Knights play against the Cincinnati Bearcats. And the next game we have going on tonight is between New Mexico and and San Jose State. Both of these teams are 2-2 on the year, looking to get their third win. Now, if y'all want to watch this game, this game is a little later. comes on around 10 o'clock at night, so that for all you that do not like to get your sleep, y'all can watch this game. comes on at 10 o'clock again between the New Mexico 
who is two and two, and San Jose State, who is two and two. Now let's get into our Saturday college football games. Now we got some big games going on this this college Saturday. We have Virginia Tech will be traveling to Miami, Florida, to place the Hurricanes. Both teams will come in a record of two and two. Virginia Tech is trying to rebound after getting absolutely embarrassed at home by Duke University by a score of 45 to 10. Our next game is between number 14, Iowa, and number 19, Michigan. Now, this should be a great game. I'm hoping that Michigan does not look as bad as they did when they played Wisconsin. Uh, Iowa does come into this game undefeated at 4-0, looking to make the upset at Michigan. You know, that's a loud stadium there. It's really hard to beat Michigan there. Yeah, but that's one of the good games. And our next game that I have now. Don't say nothing about this game because y'all probably going to say it's going to be a blowout. But number six, Oklahoma will be traveling to Kansas. Now, Oklahoma may be 4-0, but Kansas is looking to make an upset. So I'm going to keep my eyes on this game because this game could be very interesting. Our next game we got going on between number 21, Oklahoma State, who comes on a record of 4-1, versus Texas Tech, who comes on a record of 2-2. Two now, this should be another good game for Texas Tech. Texas Tech had competed with great teams who have been ranked in the top 25 for the past couple of years. So, if y'all want to watch this game, y'all can watch this game as well. Should be a very great game. Now, this is going to be the game that I am waiting to see. Number 7, Auburn versus number 10, Florida. Both, both of these teams are 5-0. and oh. One of them has to lose. One of them has to win. Who will it be? I do not know. I'm hoping Florida wins because I do not like Auburn. Uh, but it should be a great game all in all between both teams. Probably maybe high scoring, but Florida does have a good defense, so does Auburn, so it might be a more defensive game than offensive game. Um now next game is number 15, Washington, as they'll be traveling to Stanford. Stanford is looking off to pull off another upset over a top 25 team. Will it happen? We shall find out. Another good game is between number 11, Texas versus West Virginia. Well, now, Texas and West Virginia coming into this game with a record of 3-1. Number 11, Texas is looking to blow out West Virginia, while West Virginia is looking to pull off the upset. Another great game is between the number 25, Michigan State Spartans versus the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, the Ohio State Buckeyes come into this game with a record of 5-0, while Michigan State comes into this game with a record of 4-1. Both teams are looking to dominate. And both teams are looking to have a very great game. Now, this great game probably will be very defensive, and both teams have very great defenses. But both teams also have very great offenses like Auburn and Florida. So we shall see. It might be a high score. It might be very low scoring. Now, another good game I have on here that could be a game to watch out for is between number three, Georgia Bulldogs, and ten ten mm, excuse me, Tennessee. Now, Tennessee does come into this game with a record of 1-3, and three, which is very disappointing. And Georgia comes to this game with a record of 4-0. Now, this should be another good game for Georgia. Georgia might end up blowing out Tennessee, but anything could go any way on Saturday. We have plenty of upsets last week. We have plenty of upsets this week. Another good game. We're going to be changing now to hot NFL. NFL will be coming on Sunday. At 425, you will be having the Green Bay Packers playing against the Dallas Cowboys, a team that I hate dearly. Um... I'm hoping Green Bay pulls off this win because I am a Redskins fan and I do not like the Cowboys. So, Green Bay, please win this game. Aaron Rodgers, please win this game. Now, Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers come to this game with a record of 3-1. and one. Also, the Cowboys come to the record of 3-1 and one as they lost to the Saints without Drew Brees. Now, Drew Brees, we are hoping that he gets very healthy and get back on the field very soon and keep on dominating with his team. And that's going to bring us to the end of this high school game day episode. We talked about a lot today. We talked about high school, college, and NFL. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share it to anyone you may share it to. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.